Hi, Sai everyone. Rob Kajiwara here. Wanted to take some time to continue trying to answer some of the frequently asked questions that I get. Every day I've been getting thousands of messages from so many of you, and I thank you all for those messages. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to respond to them all because just due to the sheer volume, it it's difficult. But especially the part frequently asked questions that I get. Um, I want to try and answer those because you guys have a lot of good questions and these things need to be talked about. One of the questions I've been getting a lot, especially lately, has been, are Okinawans Japanese? Are they the same as Japanese? And if, is there a difference? If so, what? Now, this is a great question and this has been particularly um, prominent lately because there have been some articles in the press um, where, well, there's been a lot of different articles across a lot of different uh, platforms. Now, I always call myself in Okinawan Hawaiian. That's what I've been calling myself in these videos. I, uh, that's what I call myself in my social media accounts and in my bios. Actually, a lot of times I call myself a Luchuan or Ryukyuan. Hawaiian. That's actually the more correct term because it's the Ryukyu people. It's not just the Okinawan people. There are many other uh, people within the Ryukyu island chain and within the Ryukyu ethnic group. It's not just Okinawans. It's it's all Ryukyuans. It's uh, Amami people. It's Yayama people, Miyako people. Kumajima people, there's there's a lot of different islands and a lot of different subgroups within the Ryukyu uh, people group and the Ryukyu island chain. So Ryukyu, Ryukyuan is actually the more correct term. Or in in the in the Ryukyu languages, you say Luchuan. Ryukyu is actually a Japanese pronunciation, uh, so it's actually not the original pronunciation the, the, the most correct pronunciation is Luchuan okay that's that's actually in the Luchu language the Okinawan language um, so usually I would well I would prefer calling myself a Luchu Hawaiian but just to make it easier for the internet and for different people who to understand a lot of times I'll say Ryukyuan in the Japanese Ryukyu Hawaiian but to make it even easier than that, a lot of times, as I've been doing lately, I've been calling myself an Okinawan Hawaiian because more people nowadays are familiar with the term Okinawa than they are with Ryukyu. So that's why I've been calling myself a Okinawan Hawaiian. But there have been a few press articles that have referred to me as a Japanese American, not an Okinawan Hawaiian. So, this has been causing kind of a stir, uh, especially among some, some of the Uchinanshu, the Okinawan um, community. They have noticed this, and some of them have actually been quite angry at ups and upset about this. Not at me, but towards the press who, who printed these things. Um, and I don't blame them, you know. Uh, that normally I would be highly offended by that because I'm an Okinawan Hawaiian and so for them to call me a Japanese American that's not even close to what how I how I you know how I explicitly identify and in all of the interviews that I've done with the press I always say I'm an Okinawan Hawaiian or an Uchinanshu Hawaiian uh, I never never ever say I'm a Japanese American never never here in Hawaii, it's it's uh, it's very offensive to call an Okinawan a Japanese, okay? Because here in Hawaii, we have a very strong sense of our Uchinanshu or Okinawan identity. We have a strong Okinawan community here, and we are very proud to be Uchinanshu. The Japanese community that um, is also strong here, but they are separate. We're, we're not enemies or anything like that. We, we're friends, you know, we get along just fine. 
uh, but it is a separate community. The Japanese Kenjin Kai here, or the Japanese uh, uh, clubs here, and the Okinawan Kenjin Kai, or the Okinawan clubs, we never interact together. Not for club activities, never. Um, we're always separate. The Kenjin Kais are always separate. Um, the Okinawan Kenjin Kai here is not part of the Japanese Kenjin Kai at all. We're not part of the Japanese cultural center of Hawaii at all. Um, we have our, our own unique identity and culture and activities and um, organization and clubs and everything. So for someone to call an Okinawan in Hawaii, Japanese, that that is highly offensive. Okay, that is that is very offensive. Uh, there are some people who will actually fight. They will actually fist fight over this. I won't because I'm not a violent person. I believe in peace. But it's still very offensive to me. Uh, you know, I I'm a very strong Uchinanchu, so um, and I'm I'm also a very strong Hawaiian. That's the same here. You know, to call a Hawaiian, especially a Hawaiian national, to call us an American, that's also very offensive. You know, and uh, but anyway, um, now the reason why. I have chosen to overlook these offenses from certain publishing companies is because I don't want it to distract from the issue of Hinoko right now. The main issue in my book right now is we got to stop that landfill at Hinoko because it's destroying the bay. It's destroying that coral reef. The longer it goes on, the more damaging it will be. So my whole focus right now is to help stop that landfill at least temporarily until we can find a permanent stop to it so i don't want the issue of my identity to be to distract i don't want it to take away from the focus the real focus right now is is hinoko and stopping that landfill i don't want anything else to distract from that right now that's why for now i'm not going to complain too much or, or make a fuss about the press calling me a Japanese American. Normally I would, but right now I'm just thankful that the press is even talking about Hinoko. I want to raise as much awareness for Hinoko as possible right now. And because I'm hoping that will help stop, help stop the, the destruction, help stop that m new military base from destroying the bay so that's why I, for now i'm overlooking the whole japanese american comment okay but we should talk about why okinawans are not japanese now there are quite a few japanese supporters of okinawa who actually go around saying that okinawans are japanese and if an okinawan person says no we're not we're not japanese we're okinawan they actually sometimes get hurt or offended or they feel insulted like Okinawans are rejecting <laughs> them or rejecting like the Japanese and and uh, it's, I, I can understand you know why they would feel like, like what are you saying we're, we're trying to help you and now you're rejecting like our help and you're you're saying you're not Japanese like what's going on the thing is the Japanese government has for a long time now worked really hard to try to destroy the Okinawan identity. They really want the Okinawans to assimilate into Japan and they they want to destroy Okinawans sense of identity and ultimately they want to destroy Okinawans. They want the Okinawans to mix with the Japanese and eventually for the Okinawan race to become extinguished and they want to do this because they want to continue to keep the land for themselves because they don't want the military bases in mainland japan they want to keep them somewhere else so they want to put the military bases always in ryukyu okinawa and so if they destroy the ryukyu or the okinawan identity then that's it they, it's ryukyu is theirs forever
once if it's destroyed, then the Uchinanchi people, the Ryukyu people, will never come back and and uh, try to get independence again. And so, therefore, Ryukyu is Japan's to use forever as they please and to put more and more military bases there. They've been working on this for a long time, ever since 1879 when they first illegally annexed Ryukyu. Now, Ryukyu, from the beginning of time, was its own independent country. From the beginning of time, okay? Until 1879, when Japan invaded and annexed. Japan, of course, would go on to annex a lot of other countries, such as Korea, China, the Philippines, and many others. As part of its lead up to World War II. The thing is, after the war ended, all those other countries regained their independence, except for Ryukyu, Okinawa. Okinawa is just the, the largest, con uh, I'm sorry, Okinawa is just the largest island of the Ryukyu island chain. It's the largest and the most populated. So, from the beginning of time, UQ has had its own people, its own uh, ethnic group of indigenous people, indigenous to the UQ islands. We've had our own history, our own culture, our own languages, our own identity. Uh, we were an independent country up until 1879. So to, that is why UQans or Okinawans are not Japanese just because we're not. I mean, it's, it's like, it's it's like if you were to call um if you were to call a french person english no like french people are not english and english people are not french and like everyone knows that and you wouldn't call a french person german either because french people are not german and german people are not french and there's nothing wrong with that at all uh you know one is not better than the other okay they're they're all equal. It's just, you know, they're different ethnicities. They're different ethnicities. They're different countries. They have their own histories, languages, and cultures, and their own identity. And so do Ryukyu Okinawans. And um, that's just that. The fact that Japan illegally annexed Ryukyu in 1879 doesn't change the fact that Ryukyuans are separate, that we are different. And there's nothing wrong with being different, okay? And we can, you know, we can still be friends. Uh, Japanese and Ryukyu Okinawans are still friends. Like, I have a lot of Japanese friends, and I think a lot of Uchinanshu across the world also have a lot of Japanese friends. Uh, and uh, we, um, a, lot of, a lot of Japanese have supported our efforts to save Hinoko, and they are very supportive of Okinawa. So... There's nothing wrong with the Japanese people at all. Now, there are some Japanese who are not supportive. They, some Japanese are racist towards Okinawans. Some Japanese are real hostile, including Prime Minister of Japan Shinzo Abe and his administration. Those guys are straight up racist to Okinawans, okay? Those are not good people, okay? But not all Japanese are like that. There's a lot of good Japanese people out there, okay? It's like comparing apples and tangerines, okay? An apple is not a tangerine, and a tangerine is not an apple. Yes, they're both fruits, and they're both wonderful fruits. One is not better than the other, but they are separate, and they are different, and that's okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. The problem with calling Okinawans Japanese is, one, it's not true. Two... It actually hurts us. It helps to erase our identity, and it helps to erase us as people. The Japanese government loves to abuse the Okinawan people, and so whenever it's convenient for them, they'll say, yes, Okinawans are Japanese. But whenever it's convenient for them to deny uh, that, then they'll say, oh, no, Okinawans are not Japanese. And so they've done this for a long time now, ever since 1879. And it's a source of major prejudice. For example, at the United Nations, Japan will tell the United Nations that 
Okinawans are Japanese, and therefore the issue of Hinoko and all other issues regarding Okinawa are domestic issues to Japan. And that is why the United Nations so far has not really addressed the issue of Hinoko at all. And that's also the, uh, why the United States doesn't address the issue and why they frequently ignore Okinawa's government, including Governor Tamaki. They say, oh, this issue of Hinoko, it's a domestic issue between the Japanese. So you see, they're using that. It The, the UN and the US both say, well, I mean, Okinawans are Japanese, so it's we don't have to listen to them. It's a domestic issue. So you see how the erase, the, uh, how erasing the Okinawan identity actually helps contribute to all these problems that Okinawa is experiencing, including the military bases, including Hinoko. So it's crucial that we not erase the Okinawan identity. Isn't that right, Hope? Ain't that right? Isn't that right? Okay, well, I hope that helps, and I hope that answers uh, that question as to why the Okinawan identity is important. And this is a huge topic of discussion. It's an important discussion, and so I will be doing more videos about this later. If you have questions, please feel free to answer, and I'll try to address them in future videos. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button down below if you would like to see more videos like this. And uh, feel free to leave me a comment under this video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Aloha.